Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn that bell button on so you don't miss any of my videos. So, as you guys saw down below today, I am doing a story time about what happened to my truck. And excuse if I'm not looking at the camera, I am driving. But I decided to do this. Well, I decided to tell you guys what happened right now. So, if you guys do have me on social media, you guys know I did have an accident on my truck. I didn't crash, but I did have an accident. And I did a poll on Instagram if you wanted me to do a story time. And a lot of people said they wanted to see what happened. So, I was at Nicole's house and I was leaving. And my truck was driving normal, right? It didn't feel weird or anything. So I was just like, it's whatever. And then, yeah, I got home. I put my truck in the garage and everything. And I was waiting for one of my friends to pull up. So we could go to the park. And leaving my house, I noticed my truck was like steering really hard. Like the steering was really stiff on it. So I thought it was just like, I thought it was uh, my power steering that had gone out or something. And then, yeah, we, we just left it like that. I was gonna go buy a new, a new power steering pump or whatever they're called just to fix it. So yeah, we had left it at that. Um, didn't think very much of it. So we were at the park for like about an hour, I'll say. It wasn't that long. And when we were leaving, uh, I don't know what happened. I was just driving in a straight line, right? Like just going straight. And out of nowhere, I felt my truck like fall really hard to the ground. Like it falls as if I would have hit like a pothole or something. Yeah, I felt like I hit a pothole or something. And I forgot to mention when my truck did fall, I, I saw like, I don't know, it looked like confetti fall out from the back of it. Or not from the back. So yeah, I felt my truck fall and I was just like, well, probably got a flat tire or something. I didn't think much of it again. I thought it was just a flat tire, like I said. So I left it as that. Yeah, so I got off thinking it was a flat tire. And I saw my truck was like really low. Like my truck was laying on the ground. So I panicked a little, you know, I didn't know what had happened. And then my friend, he he was leaving with me. He pulled up next to me. He like, he told me that something like on my rim was messed up. So I got off my truck and I went, I went to look at the rim and there was a bunch like like a bunch of shreds of the rim all over the rim. And I was like, oh, I told him I was like, what is this? And we couldn't figure it out. So we started pulling it out and we saw that my rim was scraped. And then I saw that my one of my control arms fell and it landed right on my rim. So, yeah, we kind of left it as that. I had to call my uncle and we had to bring like a bunch of jacks. And yeah, I, w I had to drive it home like that. I didn't want to call a tow truck. I was really close to my house. So, we just kind of jacked it up. We picked, we tied it with the chain. And I drove it home like really slow, like five miles per hour. So nothing bad would happen. And then, yeah, I have clips of me and my homie taking it apart. I'll probably throw those in here. Drive this shit home on the lock on the fucking chain. I had a feeling that that shit broke off. Yeah, that's because those are dangerous, right? So, for those of you that know about cars, and you can't really see it because of the light, but. For those of you that know about cars, this is my ball joint and it just completely came off it's supposed to be right here with that it's completely gone
Alright guys, so this is what broke. <laughs> Shows hard taking off. Shows a little bit more of how it looked. But honestly it could have been a lot worse than it was if it would have happened on a big road. Like I said, we were leaving, I was only going no more than 15, 20 miles per hour. Now imagine if I was going 40 or 45 on a big road where there's cars around me. It could have been a lot worse. So I'm thankful that it wasn't worse and that it didn't happen on a big road because I mean a lot of people were thinking that it wasn't even that bad of an accident but to be honest it was scary it was like a scary moment like a panic moment yeah I'm, like I said it could have been a lot worse I'm thankful that I wasn't on a big road and that it happened when it happened and I mean it kind of bummed me out because I had plans well I have plans still but it just depends on how long it takes me to get it fixed. Kind of, it sucks when your car breaks, and because I have deposits down right now for my truck to, or for some things that I'm doing to my truck, I can't let you guys know yet. That'll be a separate video. But if I can't fix my truck by the time those deposits go away, like I lose them, so I am gonna try to get it fixed. And like I said, I do have some things coming to my truck, but. That those are things that I want to do a video on, a separate video. So, yeah. I'm sure most of you guys are wondering also what I am driving since my truck is broken. Um, we do have more trucks at home. I'm currently driving, but when I get home, I will show you guys what I am driving and what I will be driving for a while. So, stay tuned for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in. Yeah. I just wanna win, yeah. LA BB, who we running with, yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on ten again, yeah. State your name, big, big dope on flame. I just switched the lanes, damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain, stripping and dipping in bass, slab on everything. Swimming, you sinking away, cause I got big racks coming. I put my low racks on it. I ain't skip past losses, I had to get back off it. See the fit lab on it until they whip my coffin. Money clip, I tossed it, I heard it's big bags on big bags on big bags coming. Uh huh, coming in. Yeah, flex. I just wanna. So while I am talking about my truck, I also want to answer another question that a lot of people always ask me about my truck. It, it is going off topic a little bit, but. <clears throat> people always ask me how I got my truck and I actually got my truck from my brother but I got it because of a car accident that I got into so my brother had a he already had another truck and I was using the truck that's mine now it was his before I was using it, I was driving it all around and I did get into a, a little car accident and my brother didn't really want to fix it up anymore since he had already gotten a new one so I kind of just took over it. I started fixing it. My brother is the reason I got into trucks. If it wasn't for my brother, my truck wouldn't like how it does now because he inspired me to build it up and fix it. And we do have two trucks. <laughs> my mom calls them the sisters because they're both the same brand truck, just one's older and one's newer. I want to a picture of both of our trucks together. Also, I do still have a blank spot on the back of my truck on this on the windshield. I am looking to get another sticker. Um, I could fit like one or two more stickers right there. So if you guys have any ideas, or if you guys have any cool stickers that you would like to send me, DM me on Instagram and show me the stickers, and we can work something out. You guys, know when my truck did fall, uh, that some of my rim actually did come off, and. These little shreds, they're all pieces of my rim. And this is actually the thing that broke. This, it goes right here, like right in the center. It, we struggled to have to like, it was a struggle to have to come off. So, yeah. I do have it sitting on jack stands right now on a jack.
but yeah as far as it goes i'll keep you guys updated so if you guys want to stay updated with what i'm doing to my truck or what's going on uh, you guys can follow me on instagram or snapchat i'll put them both right here somewhere like right in the bottom so you guys can stay updated with what's going on with my trucks i do tend to post a lot about it a lot about what i'm doing so make sure to follow me on all my social medias i mentioned to you guys that i do have some other plans for this truck um plans that they take time it's not going to be something fast so i will be doing a video at the end of the month about that i haven't turned my truck on in so long so this is locked Alright guys, so that was the end of today's video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And comment down ideas for next, for other videos. I do have a couple other videos in mind. But it doesn't hurt to have more ideas in there. So, we'll be back with more videos. Peace.